Hello everyone, welcome to the Friday review, and today I'm going to do a review of the Yosh um, waterproof bag. Um, they was kind enough to send me this to review, um, so I decided, eh, why not go ahead and actually try it out and actually see if it's waterproof. That's why I have a tub of water right here. Um, and this is why I also have my AOG Viper right here. Um, so overall this is just a normal waterproof bag um, that you would typically see people buy at the water park um, to keep their wallet and all that safe um, from water. Um, so they're just a typical like rubberized um, bat, a rubberized case basically, but it's more as like a bag. Um, it's got like this cheap plastic up here. Um, this is also dust proof and snow proof. So, I guess if you're gonna be taking your phone outside and dropping it in snow, I guess this case would protect it. Um, you got like the clear, clear plastic where you go clear rubberized material where you can see the device um, and it does respond to your touch and different things. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So um, this does come with a little um, necklace band where you have it around your neck if you want. I can add it on just for this type of purpose. Um, Yosh um, said that they've tested every bag that they sell for at least two hours in water so they guarantee that it's not gonna leak through um, so that's kinda neat that they test every bag um, so to open it you have to flip the case over this is which is oh well you don't have to flip it over you can um, you just lift these two things up And I usually like to just open up a little bit wider like that. And then you're gonna take your phone and put it in there. And then you're gonna this is one thing that I do not like that you have to readjust these to fit. Um, other bags that I've use that are similar like this they it only it doesn't open all the way like that the um, clamps actually um, stay though and as you can see the phone is zero responsive to touch so this is zero our tub of water comes in this is just a few inches of water just to get the main idea basically of what it is and here we go. So as you can see, it's it is underwater. Um, it is actually automatically touching things without it um, without me touching it. Um, but underwater. Underwater, it is not able to touch. You're not able to really use this underwater, which it is, that is normal um, with them. Um, they kind of float, um, kind of like float. So if it does kind of like um, get, um, falls off the, um, the, band um, he will be able to hopefully find it um, to um, know where it's at <laughs> um, but hopefully that never happens um, typically I just don't use these uh, because I still would not trust after all the money that I spent on my iPhone I still would not um, use these bags um, because if I'm going to be around water, I'm going to put the phone away. Um, I'm not going to 
carry it around. But this is nice that you can use these for other things. Um, this does fit up to most six inch devices that have a six inch screen. Um, I did put my iPhone 6 in it um, before putting, um, when I first got it, and it does fit the iPhone 6 Plus all the way. You don't have to worry about it um, not fitting because I had an issue with another bag that it would cover up the um, buttons where you can't access the buttons um, to check. Um, and as you can see, it still relatively responds to So you do have to take it out of the water for it, but it does seem to like start accessing stuff in the water without you touching anything. Um, so that is, I guess, okay. Like right now, I don't know if you can see, it's touching the B button just randomly. <laughs> um, it's probably that this um, clear piece is actually touching the strain itself. Um, because inside, as you can see, there's like an air pocket where this plastic isn't, or this rubberized material isn't really pushed down onto the stream. There's like a, a little millimeter left of room in it. Um, that's where the, the air pocket basically. So I'm going to go take it out of the bag. And actually see how well it works. Well, okay, now it is time to actually see if water did get into the bag or it's just on the outside. So let's open it up. And open it up and see. Phone is not wet at all. So it did pass the waterproof test. Um, so this is completely waterproof. Um, and I will show you exactly what I mean by the little air that you go pocket basically that you cannot get out. So when you close it up, even with nothing in it, you can still see that there's air in it. This is what allows it to the rubberized, this rubberized clear piece to not touch the screen. But on a course, it did. Um, so yeah, the only thing that the phone did, it did get some moisture. I did notice um, when I first put it out, it did get some moisture in it. Um, yeah, even in the back it's untouched. So around the outside of the phone it did get some moisture, um, but that's not really going to hurt a whole lot of anything. Um, typically if you're going to be in the water um, for a long time. Typically, you should not have your phone with you um, if you're going to be in the water a whole lot. Um, that's just my opinion that eh, it might not be a good idea to do that. Um, because even though this is a waterproof bag, it still can get a hole somewhere without you even noticing it. Um, or like one of these clear pieces, whether it's one of the clear rubberized piece can maybe get a get pushed out of the other rubberized finished and make it like a little bitty hole. And that little bit bitty hole is gonna make a big difference. Um, big difference to it. Um, but overall it did survive and this is why that I do enjoy these, um, do enjoy doing reviews. Um, 
especially for a bunch of different brands that not a lot of people understand um, or know about, um, but they do make good products like this one. Um, typically, if I did not um, ever did, if I typically never did a review on one of these, um, but I did with the IXCC one, I would typically not do what I did. Um, but I trusted this brand enough um, to test it out, to actually see if it works, um, and well it does. So, this is one brand that I know that I can trust, um, especially whenever they come out with um, a waterproof bag. Um, because typically, if you give this to some random person that, and just say, oh, it's from China, it's most likely they're not going to trust it a whole lot, unless they have it in like a store at like a water park or something, then they would trust it. Um, but typically if you go out and buy one, um, not at a like a water park, some, they're going to go for like a more major name brand. Um, branded one, not just some ch cheap Chinese one. Um, but this is a brand that I can trust that I can put my phone in and it won't get wet. Um, so this was my review on the Yosh um, waterproof bag. Hope you like it. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share, and I'll see you in the next one.